Chris O'Shea, and I've been collaborating here with uh, Dominic Harris of Cinema Studio uh, on this installation at Lightwave called Beacon. So at the moment, when the installation is empty, it, rever it reverts to an attractor state. So it's, it's going through a series of behaviours, and when Chris here walks in, immediately all the beacons follow him. Um, and as he moves through the space, he's being thermally tracked by our four cameras on the ceiling. Uh, what, one of the most delightful things about doing a public installation like this is you can see behaviour. Oh, we've got some kids behind us who are running around. And you see these fantastic behaviours from the public, which aren't things that you, I mean, as an artist, you kind of you have these ideas, and this is, you hope that people can be doing fantastic things with it. But actually, seeing the kind of kids sliding around and so on, it's, it's, and seeing the way the lights are responding to it, that's actually very exciting to us. Hi, I'm Karen Curley, and uh, with my colleague Anthony Nevin, we've made our piece here, Lightbox, which is a camera obscura interface, which transmits uh, some footage from uh, Antarctica live inside our camera obscura here. The uh, Lightbox is uh, a big camera obscura. Well, it's actually lots of little camera obscuras because each lens is a hole, and what we do with the hole is we um, let light come through it from the images that we've projected on the wall. And when the image goes from here through the wall, to the other side onto the screen, it flips by the magic of optics, which is really what this piece is all about. It's about optics, it's about um, early cameras, it's about seeing uh, things hopefully in a different way and um, creating a bit of a, uh, an ambient piece. Hello, my name is Frederick de Wild. I'm an artist from Belgium and I'm here right now in the Science Gallery presenting an artwork which is entitled EOD4. Um, the artwork is actually or consists of a living electric fish, uh, an electric fish coming from the, um, the Amazon River in uh, Latin America. The work actually um, is a tube and in the tube you have kind of antennas, electrodes we call them. They can capture the signal of the electric fish and due to that we can uh, also make the um, the electricity of the fish audible, okay? So on the tube there are two speakers, left and right, so when the fish uh, swims uh, to the right, the sound would also pan to the right. Between the electrodes, in fact, there is a LED light and it starts to blink. It starts actually to blink when it tracks the, the, the position of the fish. 